Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, students. This is Joe Brownlee coming to you uh, with a test number five graphing chapter three review. And I wanted to take uh, this opportunity to put together uh, this video to walk you through step by step how to solve these types of problems. Now, we've been doing a lot of work in class on solving these problems and you've been working on your homework and I've met with uh, a lot of you in the SLC, which is great. but. Uh, like I said, this practice test here on my math lab has been designed specifically to get you ready for your test that you will take in class on the computer. Uh, and so I, I want to walk through these and we're going to work everything out step by step so you feel confident and comfortable walking into the classroom. Uh, to take the test. So I've already got us here set up uh, uh, at the assignment screen. In this case, this is the practice test screen. So you can access this uh, assignment is, is what it falls under, category falls under, uh, on my math lab by clicking uh, on the assignments tab on the left and then just scrolling usually all the way to the bottom and you will see uh, practice test number five, chapter three graphing. Click on that link and you will be taken to this screen. Now we have a, a few pieces of information here. We have the, the actual name of the test itself. In this case, this is the practice test that we're working on. There are 30 questions on this practice test and there are 30 questions on the test you will take in class. That is not a coincidence. All right, this test, uh, practice test is going to close for this class, the class that I'm using to, to do this demonstration will close on November uh, 2017. Uh, 2017 will close on November 20th, 2018 at 8.59 a.m. Now, of course, depending on your class, this date will be different uh, as the semester progresses and you might be in a different day, et cetera, et cetera. So this will be different for your class and uh, the number of attempts. Now, I told you in class that you can take this practice test online an unlimited number of times. In this case, I've, I've done the test twice. Uh, I've worked with students on the test and, and so you can see here that I've attempted the test twice out of, well, an unlimited number of times. So you really have no excuse. You can do this test over and over and over again. And what's really nice about my math lab and, and this test software itself is that it will generate new questions every single time for you. And so you really are getting a good preview of what to expect in class. Now, as I said, uh, although this practice test has 30 questions and the test you will take in class has 30 questions, because the nature of the software is such that the questions you will see in class will of course be different than the ones that you're going to see in the practice test, um, but they are going to be the same material. So if I am asking you to graph a line here in the practice test, you can rest assured I'm going to ask you to graph the same type of line in class. The numbers will just be different, but the process of graphing will be the same. All right, so that's that's what we're doing here. Um, I also want to emphasize how to actually use the graphing software, you know, built into this test, how to plot points, how to actually graph the lines, how to enter your answers. And these are all things that you've already been doing in the homework. So this shouldn't be a new experience for you. But again, in a test setting, I understand nerves can get to you. And so uh, we're going to take a few minutes uh, together and walk through this. So this was our introduction. So go ahead and uh, click on the next video in this playlist and we will get started with practice test number five, chapter three, graphing review. I'll see you there.